Good evening, everybody. Andrew Mangeris here, Chief Product Officer at Kayani. I want to welcome you to the Wednesday webinar. Just a reminder, we host these webinars every week at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Wednesday. Um, next week, we will be having a Wednesday webinar hosted by our Vice President of Sales here in North America, Skylar Stephenson. Also, I want to make a special announcement tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. There will be a Facebook Live, some special announcements coming from Kirk Hansen, our chairman and CEO, as well as Skylar Stephenson, Vice President of Sales. They will both be on the Facebook Live. That's tomorrow on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Make sure that you tune in to the North America page on Facebook to be able to listen to it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started this evening. First of all, we have a disclaimer here that uh, we'd like to share. Statements, of course, in here are not being evaluated, have not been evaluated by the FDA. It's pro the products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or condition. And any clinical studies that we talk about or represent in this presentation are for general ingredients only and not for any Kayane product specifically. So tonight I want to talk a little bit about how we take our Kayani products. Triangle of Health has been a staple for many of our uh, business partners and customers and they've been taking it for quite a while and this is a graphic that we have used in the past. In the morning we take our nitro and then we take our sunrise. Throughout the day in the afternoon we take nitro and then in the evening we take uh, take our nitro and then also our sunset and that evening could be uh, during the meal, could be after that, could be right before bed. Many people like to take it right before they go to bed. And so this has kind of been the typical standard. And then recently, of course, we introduced new products. We have our HL5 and our Fit20. And so I'd like to talk a little bit about how to integrate those. We have received some questions on that and wanted to be able to answer how do they take Fit20. And it kind of, some of it's going to depend on what some of your objectives are in taking the product. So let's first start off here with our daily schedule. Uh, nitro and sunrise in the morning, I say around breakfast or before breakfast. And then I put uh, nitro and sunset around dinner. Now, if you prefer to take it in the evening after dinner, right before bed, that's absolutely fine too. But for purposes of this presentation, I'll put it right there at dinner. I personally like to take it with my dinner because I take it right before dinner. And then I don't have as much of a the taste, the fish oil taste that you get because I usually eat right after that. And so it helps me. But if you want to take it right before bed, that's great too. Um, we do take it in the evenings so that it can help to metabolize the fats as we sleep. And that's one of the most optimum times. If you happen to take sunset in the morning, is it going to hurt you? Can I take it? If it's better for your schedule as far as remembering and you seem to always forget at night, absolutely take it in the morning. Um, the best thing is to make sure you're taking it. If it's habitually better to take it in the morning for you because you're always forgetting at night, then I would recommend take it in the morning. Um, but ideally, we recommend that you take it at night. So first, let's talk a little bit about HL5. HL5, we take you can take throughout the day. Many people talk about taking it in the morning. They love to take it in the morning on an empty stomach. They feel like it's going to be digested better. And after fasting, they want to get it into their system and they feel like it's going to have a better absorption rate. <clears throat> We've done research and looked at, is it better to take it in the morning or is it better to take it at night? Is there a definite answer? There's not. There's not a better absorption rate. I will say that the, one of the things that most people like to do is they like to take it as an energy boost and to help, um, help it to cur curb some of their appetite. And so the timing of it has been more based upon curbing an appetite and having energy. Now, that may be in the afternoon between your lunch and your dinner. Like I put it here, I put a snack there in the afternoon and taking it, taking one there between oh, you know, two and five or six o'clock in the afternoon to help curb the appetite so you're not eating as much when you get a little bit of a hunger craving. Um, you can also take it as in the evening right before bed. 
there is some rebuilding that goes on in the tissues at nighttime for collagen. And so taking it before bed is a great time as well. Um, I will not say that that's, you know, the only time you should be taking it or more ideal. But for you, if you get cravings at night, a lot of times that will help as well to be able to take that so you're not having that late night snack after dinner. Um, one of the other things that you can do is you can also take it in in the afternoon. Let's see here. Oh, well, it goes on to Fit20. Let's talk a little bit about Fit20, and then I'm going to come back to another way to take HL5 that may that may be a good way. Fit20, I take Fit20 in the morning. I take it on an empty stomach. Um, I get up first thing in the morning and I do my workout first thing in the morning. And then right after my workout, I take my Fit20 and a sunrise. And that's part of my breakfast. Now, a lot of people have asked, is Fit20 a meal replacement? You can make it a meal replacement if you add a few more probably carbohydrates and a little bit more fat to it to get what is ideal in a ratio of fats and carbs and proteins in there. Personally, I will add some spinach in there. I'll usually add a fruit, typically a blueberry or strawberries or some raspberries or something like that into it. And sometimes I even make it a chocolate. And then, of course, I put in my sunrise. And then you can also add, if you want to add a little bit more fat in there to try to help balance out your ratios of your macronutrients there. You can put in some MCT oil or something additional to increase that. I use it as a breakfast though, every day. That's my breakfast. I make it for myself. I also make it for my wife. Um, I also add a little bit of fiber into it as well, but my wife loves it. She That's her breakfast as well. I get up and that's part of a, our family routine right there is I make breakfast for her and for myself in there and I'll mix it up every day. Sometimes I even do a peanut butter chocolate flavor in that. So whatever your preferences are, but that's, that's how I do it. Now I take my nitro effects before I take my shake. And why do I do that? I take that beforehand because I want that nitric, nitric oxide to start to get to work to help increase that absorption and increase that performance of the product. And so I will take that before. I do take it separate. I don't include it in the shake. A lot of times people will ask, well, do you just mix it in the shake? I do not. I like to take it separate and put it in my mouth because it begins to, to break down when you take it separately like that and not be diluted in the shake. And so that's one thing that I recommend. Um, if you prefer, don't prefer the taste or you want to make sure that you avoid some of that taste and you want to mix it in, absolutely it's better to mix it in than not take it at all. But if you can, please go ahead and take that beforehand and mix it in. Now, sometimes people also like to take a Fit20 for lunch. If you want to have an extra one and you do an extra meal, you absolutely can do that. Um, I was talking with the, one of our leaders this past week, James Bradford, who was doing two a day and sometimes three a day, depending on what his workout schedule and what his meal schedule was, because he was going through kind of a cleanse program that he did. So, Fit20 could be, you could take a second one at lunch. Um, or maybe you go do a workout at lunch, more of a aerobic workout instead of an anaerobic workout and depending on what your situation and what you're training for. And so you could take a second one there. Now, talking about a snack, one of the things that I like to do is I love to take my HL5 in the afternoon and I mix it in with hot water. I'll take two of them actually and I'll mix them in with hot water and make like a hot tea has a very good flavor. Um, people love the, the taste of it. Um, of course, it has no sugars in it. It's a great way to get some of that collagen into you. A lot of times people will ask also, does a tea, does that hot water have any effect on it? Now, I'm not taking the super hot boiling water. It's a warm enough that it's a warm tea that is uh, to the taste, but it does not affect or denature those proteins at that temperature. You'd have to get to much higher temperatures in order to denature it. So you can take it in a tea. You can take it in cold. Sometimes people want to put it in the fridge and they, of course, are going to take it cold like that as well. And that's just another way, but that's one of my favorite ways is to do it in a tea in the afternoon. And that also helps to curb some of my appetite in the afternoon so I'm not as hungry. And I'll take it that way frequently. Um, <clears throat> And then 
of course, then in the evening, coming back to that sunset. Now, HL5, can you take that morning, noon, and night? As I mentioned earlier, yes, you can. You can take it at whatever time you feel is best. Some people want to take it before or between breakfast and lunch because they get a little bit of hung, hunger cravings there between breakfast and lunch, and that's an ideal time for them. Perfect timing to be able to do that. I want to stress the importance though of trying to build a habit of taking the product because when you build that habit and you have a routine, that's going to be the most important thing. Um, timing of it is important, but habit and making that habit on a daily basis, whether you're setting an alarm, whether you have triggers around meals, whether you have a trigger when you get up, um, whether you're in your office or you're at home, some way to make that a routine, keeping that routine will help to curb your appetites and to avoid having issues in uh, as far as taking it or skipping meals with that. Um, we've got a couple questions here. Let me go ahead and see on the, on the chat. Does anyone else having trouble with the low volume? Finally had to turn my volume icon off. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure if you can turn it up or not. Um, according to my little meter here, audio meter, it sounds like my volume's coming out pretty strong. So hopefully that is resolved. Um, question, another question and answer, what else can be added to Fit20 to make it taste better? Great question. Um, I add all kinds of stuff to it. I will all, a lot of times add some plain yogurt. And I'm very picky on the plain yogurts because a lot of yogurts will have carbs. I use completely unsweetened yogurts to add to it. Um, and a lot of times I will do a higher fat content of the yogurt. So I'm getting some extra fat as well as I'm getting some extra protein with that. So Fit20, I, I will do a, a higher fat content, plain yogurt, a Greek yogurt usually because that will have a good high content of, of protein and low carbs in there to be able to add it to it. So um, I also love to put in a couple of berries. I don't want to add too many carbs to it. So I do a little bit of, of berries for it for a flavor, usually about a half a cup if I'm doing some like blueberries or one of those kind of fruits. And then I always like to add spinach. Spinach has, is a great source of nitrates, of course, and it helps in increase your nitric oxide production. Uh, spinach is one of the least... Uh, affecting as far as taste goes of leafy vegetables. Um, some people like to put in kale in their shake as well to try to get some more vegetables. Um, sometimes I'll even throw in some carrots in there to chop it up. Now I use a, a stronger type blender to be able to chop it all up in there because when you get into some of those carrots and stuff, you want to make sure that you're able to, to really grind it up and it's not as chunky. And any, I don't know if anybody else has any other suggestions that they want to put in the little Q&A, but I'd be happy to recommend some of those as well and, and mention those. Um, what type of fiber do you recommend? This is, a, this is a good question. I like a mix between a soluble and insoluble fiber. I typically use an organic psyllium husk that I will also mix into my Fit 20 shake. And I do that to help regularity. The health of your gut flora is great as well as to help cleanse you out. And I put in about 30 grams of fiber in my shake. Now, if you are not using fiber on a regular basis, I highly recommend that you start lower because it does have side effects if you're not used to having a lot of fiber in your diet. But I'm typically getting anywhere from 40 to 50 grams of fiber a day in my current diet. So, um, I recommend that you build up to that, but I would recommend a psyllium husk type fiber, uh, something that has both, um, an oat fiber is also a very good one that I would recommend people add to it um, to help bulk it up, but also to help keep, keep your digestive tract healthy. And that is key in absorption, a uh, key, especially if you wanna lose weight and absorb these nutrients. Um, one of the things that we that was just recently done by James Bradford, he was talking about how he did a 12-day cleanse. Um, that might be a little bit long for some people, but doing cleaning yourself out is always good on a regular basis. And then trying to maintain a healthy diet that's high in fiber will maintain a cleansing in your digestive tract. 
Um, here's a couple other questions that have come in. Can you add the sunrise to something? Asking because it makes my mother-in-law feel really yucky as soon as she takes it. Absolutely. Like I mentioned, I add my sunrise into my Fit 20. Go ahead and add those two together and you can drink them together. Or if you like to freeze it, some people like to do it that way, put it into another juice or some, uh, even an almond milk or things like that. Um, can you speak to why there are only two collagen types in HL5? Absolutely. So HL5 has your type 1 and type 3. Over 90% of your body is type 1 and type 3. There are numerous other types of collagen that you can get and you can get other sources. And many marketers out there, many companies out there are touting that they have multiple types of collagen within their product. And your body can make all those types of collagen from the type one and type three collagen. So you're gonna be getting everything that you need in addition to the fact that over 90% is already type one and type three. And of course it is hydrolyzed, so you are gonna be able to break that down and be able to build whatever products or whatever collagen types you need in your body. Um, a new a person just came on. I'm late to this webinar. I'm not familiar with some of these new products. I'll just recommend that you talk to your uh, your business partner, your upline, or somebody about the new products, the HL5 and the Fit20. We also have a lot of webinars on each one of these that you can, can look at. Um, another question coming in. Mixing the Fit20 with six ounces of water usually makes it taste good. And so one of their recommendations is six ounces of water instead of eight. On the packaging, it does say eight. It, uh, matter of fact, it might say eight to 12. Oops, sorry, just kicked myself out of there. Let me see if I can go ahead and pull back up my presentation. And there we go. So six ounces is great. It does make it a little bit sweeter and it does make it a little bit thicker. So if you want to mix your Fit 20 with less water or less of a liquid, absolutely go ahead and do that. And uh, it works really well. Um, unsweetened almond or coconut milk is a great base for the shake to make it better. Some people use almond butter. And so that's a, something that, a suggestion that came in through the Q&As on here to to go ahead and mix it with an unsweetened almond milk or a coconut milk as a base instead of water. And that also helps to increase that taste. Well, I wanna thank everybody for coming tonight. Um, let's see if we can't go ahead to this next slide. As you can see here, we've got the triangle of health with the Fit20 and HL5. Um, fitting these all together can be a little bit more of an educational process. So. Hopefully this will be a great resource for you, for your teams. It will be posted on the YouTube channel under the Wednesday webinars. And so you can use it as a reference to send people back to. Appreciate you guys and all that you do. Let me just do one last check here to make sure we don't have any more questions that have come in since the last one. Actually there are, so let me go ahead and see if I can. Why is there no standard vitamin from Kayani like a multivitamin? Great question. We use the triangle of health. You've got your vitamins in there. If they're water soluble vitamins, they are in the sunrise. And if they're lipid soluble nutrients or vitamins, they are in the sunset. And so we've separated them into those two categories of the sunrise and the sunset that you're getting all of those vitamins and nutrients that you would in another type multivitamin, but now you're dealing with a, a natural product as well as one that's going to be more highly absorbed because you're putting it in a water soluble or a lipid soluble form. And last question before we finish up here, I mix Fit 20 with coconut milk, cinnamon and flaxseed and crushed ice. Tastes like a milkshake from Tanya Benson. So she loves it that way. Fit 20 makes me hungry. Any advice? Um, if you're getting hungry on Fit20, one of the things that I do is I add a little bit of that plain yogurt. You're going to get a little bit more protein in there as well as a few more grams of fat depending on what kind of that plain yogurt like I mentioned earlier. And it will add a few more calories without um, affecting some of, your, some of the issues and help to curb that hunger. So hopefully that's been helpful to you guys. I want to thank you guys for joining me this evening on our Wednesday webinar. Again, next week we will have a Wednesday webinar with Skylar Stephenson. 
at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Again, tomorrow, a reminder, Facebook Live, a special Facebook Live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time in the North America Facebook Live group. And that will be with Mr. Kirk Hansen, our chairman, founder, and uh, CEO, as well as Skylar Stephenson. So Facebook Live tomorrow, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed this and have a wonderful day.